in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive PDF in Canva. So the first thing you do is click on create a design and choose the letter size, which is going to take you to this blank canvas. And then you're going to begin designing the first page of your PDF by adding elements like text, images, shapes, and graphics. Um, and you can customize the colors, the fonts, and other design elements to match your branding. So this cover I didn't really like, so I'm going to change the text here. And I am going to make it my own. Because as you know, in Canva, you cannot um, just take a template and use it as your own. You have to um, change things about it. Just make it your own, basically. So I am going to take out some of these elements here, like this I don't like, so I'm going to take this out. I'm going to change the color, move some things around, um, and then I'm going to add my own things from the element section. Um, actually, I'm going to go to my, my favorite, my saved ones. So I'm just going to experiment with what I think that, what I think looks good, and this laptop looks pretty cute, but, um, not so sure. I'm going to add a couple of dollar signs here, little cute pink dollar signs, and I'm not really feeling the laptop, so I'm going to take it out. Let's see how this money hand looks. Take out these pink dollar signs, and I'm not really feeling that either, so I'm going to add this hand with um, money in it, and I'm going to change the text at the bottom. by Tamara Watson and I am going to change the background of this text and make it my own. So I'm going to just scroll down here and see if I can find um, what I need, what I'm looking for. So Canva has changed a lot since the last time I was designing. As you know, they've upgraded some new features into their platform. And so they moved a lot of things around. So that's why it looks like um, I can't really find anything because, yeah, they changed a lot. So now that I have my thing, I'm going to add a new page. And since this is the cover page, I'm going to make the second page my welcome page. So this is going to be a really short PDF. It's not going to be very long because um, it's just for the purposes of this video for how to create an interactive PDF in Canva. So I'm going to, I have my header there. I'm going to make my text um, and I'm just going to create some um, filler text. So I'm going to go and search a lorem ipsum generator. Um, you can just type it in Google and then they will find you one. So you can just copy this this page, copy this text here and then go back over to Canva and then just paste it into your design. So once you have your form Ipsum, you can copy and paste it. Well, I'm going to change the font because I'm not sure I like this one. So I'm going to change it to a Canvas Sans and then I'm going to copy and paste. Let's just so for the bottom of the page. I'm just going to add some simple decoration. Um, you can add whatever you want. This is just, you know, for the purposes of this video. Um, so we have the cover, we have the welcome page, and for this third page, I'm just going to do a resources page. Um, in between these pages, you would most likely have multiple different pages, so it depends on the length of your PDF and what information you want to include in your PDF. Um, so for this section of the, P of the PDF, we are going to link, we're going to add links so this can be interactive so for the first website i just added my regular website the second website is copyright.gov the third website i'm going to add is going to be the u.s patent and trademark website which is uspto.gov and these are just for 
um, the purposes of this video. So whatever links that you want to add, you would take these same exact steps. So I have four links there and or four websites there and I'm going to show you how to link them. So for the first website, you would just click the three little dots here and click link and then just type the website in. Um, or if you have like the URL, the official URL that you want to add in there, you can do either way. Um, it'll still save. So you just click save there. And then it, once the file is formatted into a PDF, if someone clicks that link, it'll take them to the website. So you would just do the same thing for each website. Um, just type the, click the three little dots or two little dots and just add the website once you click the link button. So it's pretty easy to do this. And this one didn't save for some reason so I'm just going to do this one over again and then just click save so we have completed these so now if you want to add in any other type of elements like say a button for instance you can add a button in and you can hyperlink the button as well and get the button to take you to wherever you want the button to go when someone clicks it so I'm going to change the color of this button, make it pink, and I'm going to make this other button pink as well, um, and then just resize it. So for the first button, I'm going to add my link for my website as I did above, so you have either option where you can do both. So I just did the little link thing, click save. So when someone clicks that in my PDF, it will take them to my website. Um, and then I, if you want to add some um, text for it, so I just decided to put website, um, just make it white so it's noticeable or whatever color where someone would be able to see it. And I just boldened it a little bit. And then I'm going to add in my link. So I'm just going to type it and click save. Now there are other types of media you can add as well. So I'm just going to show you if you want to do an icon. So these are the th three pages, but if you wanted to add in an icon, so like any of your social media handles, you could do that as well. I'm going to show you how to add in a navigation within the PDF. So this little button here, um, you can put it wherever you want on your pages. This little button is going to take you to whatever page you want in your PDF or whatever, whatever page the person wants who's reading the PDF. So you make the button, you add the text, you make sure the, it fits on the button, the text fits on the button and make sure it's visible. So I'm gonna make this a little smaller. So once you have your button, you're gonna click the little dots, click link again. And then you're gonna type in your link destination. So where do you want? it to go so i should have labeled it labeled the page first um labeled it resources because then it won't work so let's go back let's go to page three and let's label it resources and then let's try this again go to link and then we're going to go down and then go to resources so let's save that and then now if we do it with the wording um, it's the same, the same deal. So click save. Now, once someone clicks that within your 
PDF, it will take you to the next page automatically. You can do this with multiple pages. So if you have a longer ebook and you want someone to be able to find what page they left off on, you can add these links in as well. So if you wanted to add in your social media handles, um, you can do that with the icons. So this is the YouTube icon. You would do the same thing. So let's click the link um, and then add in the YouTube handle. So whatever your YouTube channel handle is, you would type it in here. So www.youtube.com slash whatever your YouTube handle is. Mine is at the Visionpreneur. And there you have it. If someone wants to go to your YouTube channel, they can click that link very easily and it will take you there. Now, if you want to have like a video effect, you can take a picture from anywhere. Like say you have a thumbnail of your video. Let's pretend this is a thumbnail. You can add a play button to it. So it looks like it's a video that they can like watch. You can add this to the thumbnail picture of your video. Um, and I just made it white so that it's visible. And then you would do the same thing. Just click the link um, and then add in your handle or you would copy and paste the URL of the video so that they would be able to watch the video there and then just click save. You can do the same thing with the picture. And so whether or not they click the, the picture or the play button, they will get to your video on YouTube. So you just type it in. I'm just typing in randomness. This is not a real link to a video. And then I just click save. And there you have it. That is how you make an interactive PDF in Canva. So you would review everything and make sure that everything looks good to you. And if it does, then you would click the share button, click download change it to a PDF. So it would be either PDF standard or PDF print. And then you would click download and it will save directly to your computer. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.